year, we had 17 more participants. Looking to impress our judges. You were one of the worst performing girls at the fitness challenge. Even standing in front of me right now, you could be a former Miss Malaysia. I think you're so stunning. The first thing that struck me about you is you didn't smile very much. The impression that you gave me is you can walk really confidently, but when it comes to talking, you're nervous. The stakes are high. Five challenging weeks. Come on, come on, come on, up. Hips as high as you can. Nobody comes down. Keep the hips nice and high. I'm really disappointed. I can't see anybody that has the upper body strength. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You got it. Fantastic. Finish like a champ. N1. Life-changing opportunity. We are here to find the next Miss Universe Malaysia 2013. After weeks of searching, these 17 girls finally arrive at Setia Eco Park, which will be their home for the next five weeks. My name is Simran Call. I'm currently 20 years old. I think it's an amazing opportunity and to be able to represent this country would be incredible. So I'm really excited about joining. Let's see who stays and who goes. I'm Kelsey. I'm 23 years old. I'm currently waiting to start a new job. I'll be writing for fashion. I love making dream catches. I love DIYing stuff. We let the girls unpack and do a bit of exploring before we tell them. One of the first house rules will be no phones. No, our phones, we were told that our phones were going to get taken away from us. Yeah, and yeah. we thought it was a joke. Hi! Get everyone else down. Hello, girls. You know me, I'm Andrew Fonseca, National Director of the Miss Universe Malaysia Organization and also your Chief Judge. Andrew is very strict, but it, it's in a good way because it's, she's only doing this for our own good. Congratulations to the 17 of you because you have beat out more than a thousand other applicants vying for a spot here in the next Miss Universe Malaysia series. Andrea is a bit scary here. Other than her being really beautiful, like whenever she speaks, you would really want to listen to her because she just has that command in her voice. You want to listen to everything that she says. Well, good news is all of you will be standing on the stage on the final night. There are mechanics to go along the way, even with the eliminations, and you'll find out about that later. But one in 17 chance of being the next Miss Universe Malaysia, you guys stand to be in such a privileged position. Malaysians will get to vote for their favorite finalists, and 30% of their SMS vote will count towards your final scores in deciding if you be the next Miss Universe Malaysia. Now, it's going to be very difficult over the next five weeks with all your challenges, living in a house together. So, to help you along the way, I'd like to introduce you to a very good friend of mine, someone who's walked in the shoes before of being Miss Universe Malaysia, Miss Nadine Ann Thomas, Miss Universe Malaysia 2010. Nadine. I'm so happy to meet everyone. So you all know Nadine represented Malaysia at Las Vegas as Miss Universe Malaysia and we are very, very proud of her. She will be, throughout your journey, your mentor, your confidant and will let you know that I'm not actually being too hard on you. It's for your own good. I will be here throughout your competition helping you, nurturing you to be the best that you can be. Now Miss Universe is not an easy road but it led me to discover my biggest passion which is music. And on that, I will leave you girls in the very capable hands of Nadine and take care and I'll see you next time. Bye. Now I know that all of you don't know each other very well but you will get to know each other in the next few weeks. I found that friendship and fellowship were two really extremely important attributes being in a competition like this. So let's get to know each other a little bit better. <laughs> Honestly, 
I still cannot believe it because this is something that I've been imagining since I was a child, you know, watching Miss World, Miss Universe and stuff like that. Can we buy this? We just go. Are we all going? Going? No. going? My name is Leandra. I'm 21 years old. My sister is in the competition. I'm not sure how it's going to be like because uh, everything I do is with her. We're in the same class, same intake, play musical instruments together and now she's in the competition with me. I'm not sure uh, how it's going to turn out but it, it's a good thing as well because she's there to support me. I think they'll probably think I'm a crybaby because um, they've seen me crying quite a bit. I don't think that is a bad thing because that is my way of expressing myself. Well, it's kind of nice to be underdog. Let them think I'm a crybaby and in the end, like, maybe one of the top finalists and they least expect it. We did ice breaking, so we've been divided into two groups and we've get more closer to each other. We're going to have a little bit of fun. Now, we're going to allocate 10 minutes for you to untangle yourselves. I think they would see me as a quiet person because I don't talk that much. I'm still observing the others, so maybe that's what they're doing too. I think the games were a great start to the day. It was good that we had it in the activity so we can get to know each other. I guess get to know the people that we weren't initially interacting with before. How are you guys doing? Terrible. Still tangled. <laughs> if you gotta climb over, you gotta go under, you do whatever you need to do. Nadine, I feel she's a really committed person. During the shooting itself, so hot, but yet she never complained anything. Oh, my hand has to untangle. May, <laughs> she's very talkative. Um, she's. I think everyone would agree that she's the loudest person in the house. <laughs> My roommates think I'm crazy because I'm very random. I'll start rapping in the room, talking in a British accent, calling each other bros. <laughs> We're, I don't know, I don't know how they, what they think of me, but I think that I'm loud and crazy myself. Oh my God! Yeah! Okay, very good. Well, you did it. They gave me two circles. Exercises like this really teach you not only about yourself, but the people that live in the house with you. Well, it has been a hectic day, so um, we all were put into very, very crowded situations where we had to share, we had to really make time for each other. We're all sharing the same bathroom, six girls in a room. And I've come to realize these girls are all making an effort to be really, really nice to each other. And I think that's amazing. What we're going to do now is a personality game, all right? I'm going to give you girls a couple of minutes, dig deep, find something that is unique to you, something that is special about you that really shows your personality. Two minutes, and then we're going to start our game. When I first met everyone, I was actually very, very excited because I don't know what I was up for. So I just tried to be myself and try to be comfortable around all the girls. And yeah, I hope that worked out well. Now that you have all written your attributes on your cue cards, I think it's time we hear from each of you. So let's start with Simran. Hello, name Simran. I'm sure y'all know that. Uh, hobby, I like to swim. I swim a lot. Simran gave me a very, very strong impression because like um, at the meeting point when she just walked out from a car, she just seemed very confident and very model-like. And my talent, well, it was not really a talent, but I can do it lah. Uh, touching my nose with my toes from the back. Wow. Can we see it? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Were you a gymnast by any chance? No, I did ballet for a few years. Hi, I'm Samantha. I like traveling and swimming. And what best describes me is crazy. I'm up for anything. You guys want to swim at 6 a.m.? That's fine. <laughs> In a competition like this, you have to learn to open up, you have to learn to bridge the people around you. It's not easy because none of you know each other. But the girls next to you will be your family and they will be your sisters for the entire journey. Now, I'm sure all of you are tired, so let's go back into the house and I'll see you guys in about half an hour. The ice breaking session was like something we really needed. We needed to like, to let loose and like get to know each other. Hi. Hi. How are you feeling? Have yeah. one of you rested after your outdoor activities today? Yes. yes. Right. Now, all of you picked an attribute for yourselves, okay? Now, there's a website called iwearseen.com that allows you to design your own clothes. So, I, I want all of you to have a look at it and have a little bit of fun. Okay. All right? Okay. See you, girls. See you. See you.
Yeah. Which one are you guys looking at just now? The one, yeah. But you know what, it's not just about who's the fittest or the strongest, it's also about how much heart and how much effort and determination they're willing to put. Come on, come on, come on, up! Hips as high as you can! Let's go, let's go, let's go! There's already some tension in the house. Rush! Chop, chop! Because some of the girls are taking way too long to get ready. Um, it's 7.40 right now. Some of us are all set, all ready to go, all ready to work out. But we are still waiting for some of them who are still upstairs. Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Do you know what time it is? If you want to be in a competition like this, you have to play by the rules. It is not okay. Punctuality is a discipline that you have to learn. Everybody wants to look beautiful. Everybody wants to look their best. But that doesn't mean that you make all the other girls wait for you. If you want to look your best and you know you take a long time, wake up earlier. Wake up earlier and get it done. Because this shows your professionalism. are about to discover that it takes more than just a pretty face to be the next Miss Universe Malaysia. Let's see what Dave Nuku has in store for them. I'm Kimberly Leggett, Miss Universe Malaysia 2012, and today we're here at Fitness First Satya City Mall with Dave Nuku, who I've been working with over the past year in order to get fit and healthy for Miss Universe on the international stage. And today, we're going to be putting you through your paces on the fitness side, and Dave's going to tell you about that. Ladies, welcome to Fitness First. Miss Universe Malaysia is not just about being beautiful, it's about being healthy, fit and strong. And we have designed a special fitness challenge for you today, which we're going to take you through. So without further ado, come with me. Ladies, you need to run as hard and as fast as you can. Your life depends on it. Everything that you do in this fitness challenge is going to go towards your overall evaluation. So trainers, gear up the treadmills, get ready to go on my mark. Three, two, one. It was really challenging, I think, to me, because I don't really like to do the gym. Yeah, and the, I think the running was a bit hard for me because yeah, the aircon was blasting on top, and every time I get really cold, my asthma gets really bad. You know, my asthma, I'm gasping for air. I want you to leave it all out on this treadmill. Uh, I was actually quite uh, excited about the run. It was a 10 minute challenge, right? I got excited, so I increased my speed to 12. Then I looked, it was only like three minutes past. No, I can't keep this stamina so long. You got it. Fantastic. Finish like a champ. Some girls are really struggling to keep up with this challenge. Miss Universe Malaysia is not just about being beautiful, it's about being strong, it's about being fit, it's about being healthy. And that starts up here in your mind and here in your heart. This is not about what you look like, this is about what you can do. You can do it, you can do it, you're doing good. It was quite tough because the last time I did exercise was in high school. Which was like three years ago, so my stamina is really, really low now. Three, two, one, time! Okay, round of applause for everybody, great job! Nice work! So I quickly sat down and then put my head uh, between my legs. Then I just asked for water. Next up, Dave Nuku puts them through an even harder challenge. Now 